Thanks, Tom. Thank you for being here today. Now, this is a, a special day for Spring Arbor University. When I, you think about uh, milestones at an institution and you mark things, and oftentimes, you know, you look and you say, you know, what are those, what are those spots that you commemorate and you look back upon? And, you know, within Spring Arbor University's history, founded in 1873, there have been multiple times where significant steps have taken that have allowed us to continue to uh, to take the next step in the iteration of what Spring Arbor University is. And so from um, starting as a, a really a K through 12 school in 1873 to when we, we began our junior college program, it wasn't until, some people are surprised by this, until the mid 1960s that we began to offer baccalaureate degrees. It wasn't until 2000 we became a university, right? It, um, I think even in the last number of years as we have added uh, academic programs like nursing and like engineering, those are significant things. But I remember uh, one of the first introductions I had to Spring Arbor University was, was meeting a gentleman by the name of Hal Munn. And, and if you never had an opportunity to, to know Hal Munn, then, then you've missed out on a significant portion of the story of Spring Arbor University radio. Because we would not have what we have at this institution without the vision and without the sacrifice and the generosity of Hal Munn. And so if, if uh, there are times you can go up, you can go up in 106.9 in the, in the radio suite and you can read a little bit about Hal and his legacy and, and his investment. But he was a, a person who served a long time on the Board of Trustees at Spring Arbor. And he had this idea and this thought that through media, you could utilize media as a, as a tool to reach the world. And so his whole career was oriented around that. It was one of the pioneers in, even in, in cable television. But he was instrumental in us um, gaining and growing our radio stations. And I, and I can remember um, a number of years back, even before I came, this is within, definitely within Rachel's uh, 10, 21 years, our general manager, Rachel Buchanan, will come up here in a second, 21 years that she's seen this progression. Um, but, but when we made a determination a few years back to bring uh, 89.3 and to connect it back into 106.9 home.fm and, and really reach people through that mechanism, there was a place where we, we gave up some things. And what we gave up is we gave up the opportunity to develop and invest in students who had a passion for broadcasting, right? We, had an, we, we missed an opportunity to really help tell the broader story of what's taking place on Spring Arbor University's campus because 106.9 wasn't the appropriate and the right venue for that. And so a number of years back, uh, Rachel had this idea and this thought of trying to, to bring back out and, and split back out 89.3 and 106.9 into creative mechanism that really would allow us to engage our faculty and engage our students in, in a way that was developmental, but also in, in ways that, that really allowed us to become even more overtly um, expressive within our faith commitment. And so as I, as I look at what 89.3 the Arbor provides us is, a, is another significant step, even though you might look at it and say, oh, this is almost going backwards to what we once had. You know, I, I really see this as a progressive step to say we have a wonderful opportunity to invest um, in the lives of our students, to collaborate within our faculty, to help tell the story of Spring Arbor University in, in very compelling and real ways. And so I'm excited at what this opportunity provides for Spring Arbor University. I'm thankful for the students who are here that are going to be hugely important in, in, in its success. And I'm also extremely thankful for Rachel and for Tom and for their vision uh, that really, I think, expresses beautifully well the legacy of Hal Munn and his desire in, in investing and helping launch Spring Arbor Radio 50 plus years ago. And so, Rachel, uh, would you come forward and tell us a little bit more about what this uh, radio station will look like? 